Hi, how are you? I'm Indira from Trainer Kit. I know that you hold several Cisco expert certifications. Yeah. So before we talk about it, you may want to introduce yourself. Yeah, sure. My name is Kavar Bhatt. I hold seven CCIEs and a CCD. My main job is to train CCIE engineers all around the world that range from Cisco TAC engineers, advanced services at Cisco, to big, large uh, corporations, multinational companies that have senior engineers that want to do the CCI training. Since we know you hold several Cisco expert certification, could you share more about your experience with the certifications? The CCI certifications, the validation that you get is it is a well-respected, one of the most respected certifications that you have out in the world. The reason for that is the certification is based on hands-on exams. So you can't uh, cram it, you cannot just wing it. You need to know your technology to be able to pass it. So that's where the actual value of the certification comes from. Great, that's impressive. You've taught Cisco expert certification course globally, right? Correct. Uh, can you tell us about the background of your participants and share the most memorable experience you've had? The people that I come into my class range from people that have just entered into the, uh, the workplace as professionals, all the way to senior engineers that are working at Cisco, multinational companies, government agencies like Na uh, at NASA, Lockheed Martin, uh, I have clients from Boeing, but my main uh, client is Cisco. I do a lot of training for Cisco TAC engineers, as well as advanced services uh, folks from uh, the Cisco team. Okay, that's great. You really sound like you've been working with all the levels of engineer, right? Yeah, I've been <laughs> teaching for 31 years, so yeah, I do that. Okay, uh, may I know what methods do you use to ensure that your participants fully understand the materials and increase their chance of passing the certifications? I use a two-pronged approach for my trainings. The, the first thing that I do is I start by uh, attacking a technology, understanding a particular technology uh, from the basics to the expert level, the more complex uh, parts of the technology. And then once I understand those technology, I have the students understand those technologies individually, how do they integrate with each other? So not only understanding how a particular technology works in a complex environment, but then also integrating it with other technologies. For example, let's say you have your ICE device and you want to do authentication based on Active Directory. How does ICE integrate with Active Directory? We take a look at that as well as part of my class, just as an example. Okay, great. So that methods work really well for your participation, right? Absolutely, absolutely. So they understand that particular technology well. So if they want to implement that technology, they want to be an expert at that technology, they're there. But also, if they want to be a more well-rounded engineer, they also have that capability. Okay, great. You really are a good, a good teacher and trainer. <laughs> Thank you. Next one is, how do you help participants mentally prepare for the exam environment and improve their time management skills during the exam? Well, the, the way I do that is I, again, have them master the individual technology, but that makes them an expert at a particular technology. I see that a lot with uh, people like Cisco TAC engineers, which are experts at their own field, let's say a VPN technology or maybe SD-WAN or maybe SD-Access, but when it comes to integrating those technologies with the other ones, they won't be able to do it, uh, be, may not be able to integrate them. So on the CCI exam, one of the main things that you need to know is how to integrate these technologies. And for that, what I do is I provide my students with a mock lab, multiple mock labs, which I call the super labs, where you have all these individual technologies, but they have to integrate with the other technologies. So for example, VPNs with your firewalls, maybe ICE with your Active Directory, SD-WAN with uh, SD-Access, all these different technologies are integrated in the different type of mock labs that I have. So I have a mock lab for CCI enterprise infrastructure, a different one for security, different one for SP, and so on. Okay, nice. The lab is the key, right? The lab is the key. <laughs> Practice, because uh, this exam at the end of the day is like your drive test. So you need to know how to drive, and that the way you learn how to drive is by actually conducting those labs. All right, agree, strongly agree. Okay, this is last but not least. Uh, what advice do you typically give to someone preparing for the CCIE or CCDE practical exams? The main thing is enjoy the journey. The amount of stuff that you will learn in a CCIE preparation, you will never get to learn that many, those many technologies in a real life environment because when you go to a company and work for a company, the company might be implementing one or two or three technologies. As a CCIE, you're expected to master and be an expert at a bunch of different technologies. So the experience, the journey that you take to become a CCIE will, be, will make you a better engineer. I'll guarantee you that. 
Whether you pass or not, you will be a better engineer after the, after, after the training. So that's okay. my advice to the, the students. Enjoy that journey. Okay, that's impressive. I really wanna switch my career to engineer after hearing session with you. <laughs> you really are a good trainer, Kaur. Thank, thank you so much. Bye. Bye. Thank you.